Right, we're on. Today we're going to talk about, look at that, shiny, look at that, lovely. Right, today we're going to talk about hands and arms in the golf swing. This drill is, there's two little drills, or there's, there's two parts to the drill, but it's really simple. This is going to make golf easier, it's going to make strike better, and this for me is really, it's quite an eye-opener. Mike Malaska talked about this in his golf channel, I want to talk about it as well because I feel as though this is something that can improve your golf. It really simplifies everything, makes the game much easier, you honestly cannot go wrong with this. When I say you honestly cannot go wrong with this, that might be a little bit of a lie in there. But I think this will make the game much easier. I think just breaking down the golf swing and just thinking, you know, there's so much information out there. Let's just refine things just a little bit so we can understand how the club head moves, what the arms do to ensure we get better strike. Okay, here we go. Right, so, club head and hands. So if we can get hands to control the club face, the game becomes easier. Now if I take my club and grip it in my right hand, so if instead of gripping the grip of the club, I'm going to grip the club head. So obviously the grip's what we hold to control the face, but if I can grip the face, we'll use my right hand first, if I grip the face, I can then control what the club does. So I've now got a much better connection of how the club face will be delivered through the shot. Now obviously this is a drill just to feel it, but by gripping the club, I can control the face. Now if I want to take loft off the club, I do that. Take loft off, I can add loft, I can hit draw, and I can hit fade. So my hands worked in different ways there in order to play those shots. I can then grip the club in left hand, so I've got my left hand on the club, I can take loft off, I can add loft, I can hit draw, and I can hit fade. Then I can do the same with both hands. So again, taking loft off, adding loft, draw, fade. So feeling that with the hands and then when you grip further back up the club you've got that connection. As long as you've got a good grip on the golf club, and when your left arm gets to straight position your leading edge is square to your target, there's a good left hand position. Take my grip and then from there I can feel how to take loft off, I can feel how to add loft on, I can feel the draw and I can feel the fade. So my hands are controlling the club face, but certainly by gripping just the club head, gripping the face and wonder, understanding and feeling how that leading edge is rotating as I play the draw, how it's hitting, held open for the fade, again how it's de-lofting to hit the lower ball flight and adding loft to hit the higher shot. So essentially once you've done that, your hands actually become the club face. So the hands of the command post, they become the club face. We've got a good grip on the club. I know how to get the shaft forward to hit a lower ball. I, I know how that happens. I can feel that now because I've done that drill. I've done that motion. I've felt that. I've watched my left wrist do its thing. I've watched the more bend in the right wrist to hit the lower shot and then I can step up and try and do that just understanding how the hands control the face to hit lower shot draw how did that work? well the club face was closing so I could feel how the hands were rotating it was more forearm rotation hands became the club face hit we draw so once I've got that, once I've got the club face control through the hands all I really need to do from there is get my arms to return back to the original position. So I mentioned it was going to be quite easy. I've got my hands controlling the club face. I start in an address position. Wherever my arms are at address, that's where I want to return to impact. Getting those arms back to that address position. If you take those two things away from this whole video, that's the only thing you focus on, how the hands control the face and getting your arms to return back to the address position. The game's easy. There's my address position. I'm going to hit uh, just a nice little draw on this one so I know my hands are a little bit more active. My arms are here at address. I don't want to I don't want to start off there with the arm. 
and then come back to this fashion. I don't want to come in here, I want to start there and return back to there. Now for me to do that, the body has to get out of the way. Naturally it has to get out of the way. I don't think about it, but the body has to be out of the way to get the arms back to the position they were in. So I'm there, if my body doesn't get out of the way, it's going to go closer to the golf ball, my arm's going to get pushed out, or I'm going to have to pull too far in, something's going to have to give. Body moves out of the way, hands return, sorry, arms return back to the dress position. That for me is key for ball striking. So if I address the camera, and I get to there, I don't want this action, I want to make sure the body's out of the way so my hands can return back to that position. You'll lose your early extension as well, purely by thinking, let's get my arms back to where they started. Address position, I'm going to hit a little draw, so I feel the face rotating there. Good. Address position with the arms, returning back to that address position with the arms. It's tremendous. We draw. Right now. So that's the two things to think about there. Face control, arm path. What controls the face? The hands. How do you feel it? How do you feel what the face does? Well, grip the face. Grip the face to feel it. Arm path, what controls the arm path? Well, the body has to get out of the way for a start. Feel the face, arm path, just get the arms back to where they started. Good again. Arms back to where they started. Class. There we go, guys. Thanks very much for watching. If you've subscribed to my channel, thank you. If you've not subscribed, please do this little button down there or there somewhere. Um, also, my Eureka Golf Swing, if you check out the link in the details below, head straight there. Little bell notification, click that. That gives you instant notifications of all my videos and, of course, the thumbs up button. That shares it around YouTube. Brilliant. I'm off on holiday for a week. See you soon.